right, good morning everyone. Day 13 on the island. That's right. Slept in a little bit today. Well, I wasn't really sleeping, but woke up actually about 8 here at Tennessee time. And it's getting kind of in a half sleep. You know, much cooler today. The first day you could do that, you'd have been in here roasting. You know, so kind of laid around and chilled out. A few extra winks in there. I'm going to get up out of this tent, go down, hook up solar panel, and uh, fix up sun shower. And uh, leave me some oats. And then you know what time it is. It's bluegill fishing time. That's right. I am going to fillet some bluegills later today. I think I'll fish till about three or something, even if I have to stand in the sun. That's all right. And uh, come back, flip bluegills and that will be that. All right. Hope everyone has a good day. And, uh, of course, I'll be back after a while. <laughs> Bye. All right, y'all. Got back from fishing over to the spot. Not too awful long ago. Carried all my stuff back. And uh, we're going to take us a stroll through the woods. Go back over there and get the basket of bluegills. And, uh, yeah, I left them over there. I had too much stuff to carry. So we'll go over and get them, bring them back over here to camp, and we'll fly them bad boys up. It's going to be right tasty tonight. Going to do a little bit different, too. Do a little bit of cooking bitty, and ain't going to be no, uh, no uh, poaching the bluegills tonight. Rob's got the nonstick cooking spray. And a little bit of lemon juice copped over there to frogs. So, uh, yeah, man, it's going to be right tasty, I'm telling you. Here we get over there, I'll uh, probably just, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull the bluegills up out of the water and show you guys. Whoops, whoa, just about to down there. That, that's pretty close. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to show you guys the bluegills and uh, then I'm going to hike my bug. But back through the woods and uh, go back to camp and get to doing some filet. Try to get some of that on video too. Why not, right? I never would have thunk making videos could be so much too. Whoa, whoa, there we go. We're going to step in a hole and break my ankle. Oh. Anyhow, I never, never knew making videos could be so much to it, you know? Well, it is. Especially if you're using a phone a lot and not your GoPro. It comes out kind of jittery looking, you know, a little bit here and there. And all the way on a good note, I found a whole tree down on the way over here to the spot. Actually, on the way back from over here at the spot to camp. And uh, that's a right nice supply of firewood laying up here in the woods. But only brought my axe. You know, I could really really go to town on it. Thank God at least I got my bushcraft saw. And uh, we're about down here to the spot. Went up there and sat around the camp messing around a little bit. Should have really done come back over here and got these fish and been filleting them up already. But you, know, you gotta bear with me. I'll walk down the cell here. Got to, uh, the snake gators feel like they're loose. Try to tighten him up a little bit. Bang, I hang tight. Yeah, that one's all right now, I think. Anyhow, I want to go back over here and load up that fishing video. That took a little while. 30 minute video takes a long time to load there on the Facebook. So, ooh, just about the bluegills. Maybe you suckers to camp. All the shell crackers, too, can't forget them. Step down the road here. Gotta watch this sail. You're falling down on this stuff, take you a good tumble, and uh, yeah, you're gonna know it's gonna lay you open all over the place. All right, hang on here. I'm trying to get the basket up here. Yeah, it's close enough now. I can just reach down and pick it up. Yeehaw, people, yeehaw. 
Oh, looky there. Let me see if I can get them. Oh, they're, they're slinging fish water on me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and uh, hold on. I must have to try this one more time. I don't know if you can see them or not because I can't see the phone screen. But anyhow, I'm gonna walk back to camp with these fish and uh, get to playing. And I'll uh, be back in a little while with the laying video. Just sit around chatting and play. And... All right, bye. All right, everyone, what is going on? I'm gonna do, I think it's like part three of the little series today. Uh, seen from other videos, just got back from bluegill fish not too long ago and had to hike back through the woods, go get them. Gotta have been messing around. Could have been done with this quite a while ago, probably. Oh, dag nabbit. I'm gonna pause this. I forgot to go get a, uh, I forgot to get a, a pan of water. I'll be right back. I'll throw you on pause and start it back up in just a minute. All right. I am back. I've got my pan of water. Put my fillets in. That's some more like it. Talking business now. I don't know how much this I'll be able to film because it may stop abruptly. I don't know. I don't know how much uh, memory is left on that phone. Remember last time I filleted some fish, I talked about something to come down here and get what was left of them. And there wouldn't be no, no meat or anything left, but pretty much that's all that's left from the last time. Just, just the fish skins. Something come down here and cleaned up in the night. As I knew they would. I'm gonna have to pull my britches up. This belt isn't quite holding them up anymore. Alright. See what we got going on here. That's the bluegills. Get them out of the basket here. If I can. Have an issue. One more, there we go. Went out of there, dude. Another guy is trying to escape on me. So there are uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven gills, that, that's pretty good. If I knew the proper way to do it, I'd like to be able to dispatch a fish, fish after I take him out of the water. But I've watched some videos on it and uh, it don't seem to try to don't seem to do the trick i think it's just causing causing more you know issue than is necessary but uh i think this little shell cracker right here he's gonna be the first in line all right over Fish trying to trying to escape on me. Well, killed me. They've been out of the water for a long time, so they're 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 nowhere near alive. I don't really understand how all that works. But I guess just the way it is. My cousin Bernie knows how to dispatch a fish. I may have talked to him about it, see what he said, see what he, what, what it is they do exactly, you know. But don't come out here, you know, try to be all cool to fish or something. It's not my thing. But I do enjoy eating my fish, that's for sure. Oh, and I've reached my, it said, got a message on my phone, said, I have reached my domestic data limit. Uh, that I would receive courtesy 2G speeds. 2G. 
until the uh, next billing cycle started with my carrier. I guess uh, T-Mobile, this isn't their thing down here. They're apparently partnered with someone and uh, that's what that's all about. So it's like, well, all right then. Guess we'll just have to deal with that, won't we? All right, one gill skinned out. I was thinking about my future brother-in-law Charlie the other day. A long time ago, we was talking about this canoe and stuff. And we was over at Mom Howard, his mom Howard's house, and Charlie was over there. And I asked him if he wanted to go on the big trip with me, you know, down to down to New Orleans. He's kind of country boys, and he's a really good dude. But it's like I tried that canoe him one time. The marm felt like it was gonna fall off. It, it, it was just some fun, some funny stuff. I think about it every now and then when I'm sitting around not doing much and get to laughing about. Yep, what's going on, everyone? I almost missed the red light video for day 13. Didn't get the fly bluegills tonight. Let's see if I can fix this a little bit. Yeah, didn't get to fly the bluegills. Uh, or well, I did fly the bluegills and did not get to cook the bluegills. Yeah, I'm sitting up here in camp. I start hearing this noise, and I'm like, what is that? You know. And then I realized that the noise was getting louder and closer really fast. So it kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of freaked me out a little bit there. You know, I grabbed my flashlight. My headlight turned it on. Two coon hounds come running through the woods. They's wired, but they're they're all running around, the sniffing of everything, you know. But I'm thinking, oh man, I, I ain't about to get my bluegill out. You know, these dogs are liable to start munching on my food around here. So finally, uh, a couple dudes come down the come down the lake in a boat. I guess he's using that radio tracking and picked them up and I don't know what they're doing out here in the first place. I guess they're doing some coon hunting maybe up off the island, the island somewhere. I don't know. But anyhow, I haven't been having phone issues too. Uh, not cooperating. I'm going to have to work on that tomorrow. Drive me crazy messing with dagburn phones. <laughs> oh, shoot. Anyway, I forgot to say cheers, everybody. Sorry, you can't really see that. I kind of blacked it out there, didn't I? Cheers. Yeah, I guess I'll just about do it. All right, everyone have a good night.